one thing we have to do is stop living in the imaginary world. You know what I mean? Dreaming is cool. Dreaming is cool. But what I'm talking about here is fear. A lot of us hold ourselves back because we live in fear. And I say fear is imaginary because there's common sense and versus fear. Common sense. You put a gun in your head and shoot so you fear that, of course, that's common sense. But fear is making up things before they even happen and they hold you back from doing something. A lot of people in life are not successful and they don't get anywhere because they live in a world where they always, you know, thinking, oh, if I do this, this might happen or that might happen. But instead of living on the other side of if I do this, the good will come out. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll, I'll make more money. I'll be happy. I'll be free. They, they just live in this, you know, prison. And it becomes a prison because, you know, anything in life to be successful, you have to be consistent. So when you consistently fear, we, all you know is going to be fear and negativity. And a lot of fear creates negativity. And that's why you find other people, um, you know, negative towards other people. Because cause they live in fear and see somebody else living free and taking whatever comes with what they want to do and you know then they become this oh he did that and he's successful but i didn't try it so i'm gonna you know get mad at them and you know or when a friend tells you something like a lot of my friends i'm like i'm gonna do this and oh what if this 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 and this uh happens and then i go i don't live in fear and then they take it personally but that's your problem that's why you're where you are and i'm where i am and i am happy and when I got out of living in fear, I got happy. People will like women and never say anything to her. And they'll be like, oh man, what if she says no? But is that not the same of as not even asking from the beginning? Because the same outcome of not trying is living in fear. Because you not trying is the same outcome as living in fear. And fear develops things like anxiety, which in some way I feel like, you know, that's another story. I feel like anxiety is a good thing. It's a it's it's a gift from whoever made us to say, be careful. It's like a spider sense, you know, like boom, 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 boom. But instead of using it as an advantage, most people use it uh, as like, you know, uh, something that's bad. But anxiety is really good because it, it gets your senses up for me anyway. But back to fear. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people who've uh, became successful in life, they'll tell you, I, I just wanted to take the risk and, you know, and whatever happened, happened. And, you know, the outcome is good. Is everything in life uh, perfect? No, but that's how you learn trial and error. You try it one time, you fall, you get back up again and try it. You try it two times, you fall, maybe the third, fourth time you try. You know what I mean? Like me, even with my um, being in doing medical stuff i said i was gonna do it but it took me forever to a point where other people were like oh you're not gonna do it and you know but i fell a lot of times and but i kept going i kept going and my job to get full time other people would get it in a year it took me a lifetime to get it but i kept going to my boss i kept making the moves that i kept i needed to do to get that but if i left if i lived in fear and was like oh no you know, this they rejected me this time, or it didn't work out this time. I'm just gonna stop. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Where and I'm, I'm happily, happily living, happily living. Do things happen? Yes, but do I let them change how I do things? No. Stop living in fear. It's just imaginary. You make things up because it's like you're rolling a dice, and the only thing you're concentrated on is the bad outcome. What would happen if you change that and just concentrate on something good? Like, you know, if I roll this dice, something good's gonna come out of it. A lot of people, man, a lot of people are not happy because they have fear. Fear what other people would say because I did this. Fear of, you know, oh, uh, what's it called? What if, uh, you know, my job fires me and you're not happy at a job and they're not doing nothing for you. But the person who, you know, voices their opinions and says how they feel and demands their respect is living and you're like oh you know this is why the saying says nice guys finish last it's not the fact that you're nice is that the people you consider um how can i say the word a-holes or rude it's not that they rude they're not yes men they demand and say what they want so if for example if I go, hey, let me get the last piece of pizza. You're a nice guy. You're going to say yes, because what? You care about how I 
view you. So you're going to say yes. And then yet you're going to go complain to somebody I'm like, you know, that dude Israel, man, he went and asked for the last piece and he knew that was my last piece and I liked it. But no, I wanted the piece. I didn't have the fear of how you feel about me. I wanted the piece. You get what I'm saying? So that's why last guy, nice guys finish last because they be doing some weird stuff. Learn to not live in fear, to not care what the outcome is. Because like I said before, if not trying is just like being in fear, what's the difference? You know what I mean? Be great, be happy, stop worrying. Because whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Like I say before in my other videos, what's meant for you is meant for you, good or bad. It's already, it's already meant for you. You just got to go through it. You feel me? It's Zulu Nation, baby.